Hey, what's going on pros? We are here. This is the part of video. I am going to show you how to install this vampirism mod for 1.10.2 guys. First thing you're going to do is go down to the link underneath this video and you're going to come up with to forge. You're going to go to minecraftforge.net and next thing you're going to do is download right here 1.10.2 download and I'm going to use the installer and I download it. I already did it so I'm not going to do it again. Next thing you're going to do is go to the vampirism link right underneath this video and you're going to come and see that other other downloads right here and you're going to follow the instructions right here and you're going to click this one and you're going to download that. Okay after you got them both on your desktop like I did right here you're going to go to forge and you're gonna run it run it like you never ran it before you're gonna run until you get tired all right so you're gonna put it into your client right there install into client it already knows your thing if you don't have it correctly here go find your your roaming file how, well diggy how do you find your roaming file well you go to your start button you can put percentage app data percentage and you're gonna find a roaming file like so and then you're gonna find your dot minecraft and this is exactly your address that they're showing you right here okay they automatically found it for you but if you ever want to that's the way you do it manually and you can make a shortcut like I did see I have a roaming file right here it's it pops open and I already have my dot minecraft and all the roamings that I have running all right so you say okay and it'll start installing all the little libraries of minecraft forge into your dot minecraft you must do this so it, it could run and um, install all the stuff that it needs to prepare it for this mod so let's see let's wait a little bit and see how long this takes it shouldn't be that that hard or that much time but you never know it takes sometimes a little bit more time than others like so right now it's taking a little bit more time and it says the library has failed did i run oh you have to run your minecraft at least once it has to build its libraries bros so you you should do that as soon as possible so let's create a little world real quick so all the libraries do config itself and let's do that real quick boom 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 take a couple of seconds and it is done make sure to smack some stuff that you hear the sounds all right so we're done here let's jump out and let's try this one more time. Whoop. I don't know what's going on there. All right. So let's install it again. It should install perfectly. Okay. It's, it's installed. Now go back to your roaming real quick. And you're going to look in here. And you should have all these files in here. Good. Now let's run our Minecraft Forge. This is the only way to do it, pros. You're going to have to go to edit profile and you're going to go to release and you're going to come all the way down to Minecraft Forge like so. And you're going to save it and then run it once. Now, Minecraft Forge is running and it's installing into your Minecraft and it should be okay by the time we finish this. You can refresh your page just in case anything is just hanging around your page. But this usually only happens when I'm recording. I don't know. Something with the screen saver or something like that. Okay. It is done. If you put your mods and you can see all your mods right here. Now, shut down Minecraft. Go down to your roaming again or percentage app data. Find your dot Minecraft. Open it up and you're going to notice a new folder that's called mods you're going to open that up and you're going to slide your vat 
vampirism mod right in there and then close it down and you can start up your minecraft again let's do it boom look how easy that is so easy pros shouldn't be i try to not to cut any corners so you guys should see everything that's running and everything that you have to do okay let's see let's see let's see and it looks like it is done hopefully boom good let's make a world real quick let's do let's create a world with vampirism in there and see what happens what's going on in there okay building boom we're here in the world oh i don't see any vampires but i see somebody who are you dude oh god he is a vampire powerful bill and he's taking damage from the sun <gasps> well as you can see it is installed now wait for the spotlight right after this video thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and you learned something later pros hey what's going on pros we are back back here with count diggy oh man pros i have a beautiful mod for you guys to check out it's vampirism and it is fantastic first thing you will spawn with this book that will tell you all about the stuff if you install it it's called the guidebook and it's right underneath the video all the links underneath the video pros that you need and you just saw the install it should have showed you now pros i want to show you the mobs that on the vampire side on my side first okay first thing we're gonna see is a vampire a regular vampire hi dude scary sound dude he makes some scary sounds Hey, buddy. See, they come different, different kinds. Oh, all right, all right, all right, guys. You guys are scaring me. He's scary, dude. Then you get the advanced vampire. Mmm. These guys come with names. They're a little stronger, as you can see. He has. These guys have like 20, but they follow the captain. Look at them. They're following him. <gasps> I guess for protection. And these advanced vampires have like three different kinds there goes the modder he's the i think this is the modder's name i think and then you got powerful bill yes now them guys are some of the vampires that you will meet but this guy is the one that you want you'll probably get this pure blood from him he will drop this pure blood and you're probably gonna need it to level up a lot so and this guy's not easy to kill, pros. Uh, there he goes. Second level, he looks really bad butt. And as you can see, his little minions protect him. Little guys. They look like little baby zombies, but they're vicious and they suck your blood. And this guy has over 203 hit points. And he's a second level only. These guys go up to fifth level. So at fifth level, is like 300 plus. So I don't know how you're going to kill him. It's like crazy. You have to come at him with full force. All right. At the beginning of becoming a vampire, you're going to need to kill a vampire and get his fangs. And if you shift right click, you become a vampire. I'm a vampire already, so you can't do it. But there you go. I'm a vampire now. I'm looking. I press. I, I don't have no abilities yet. So let's look at our levelings. I only could suck blood right now. So let's start leveling up, pros. We can become like powerful, very powerful vampires. But it's gonna take a lot of research and a lot of running around and a lot of killing. <laughs> and there goes my sheep. <laughs> now, if you go try to get some blood, you need an empty glass just like this, pros. And you're just gonna go. Uh, you're gonna just open it up. Oh, I can't get in there. Move over. And you see the fangs popping out? You can start killing. Oh, hey, hey. Alright. You wanna be my subject? 
Ooh. Get some! Ooh. See, I filled up some blood. Now, I bring it to my altar of um, inspiration. And you just fill it up with it. Just make sure you fill it up all the way. Well, I like to fill it up all the way. And you can make these things, too. These little tanks. They look... I guess it's good to store some blood. And I think this thing is full full now. Oh, yes. So now you shift right click on it. And this little sparkling stuff... Oh! A lightning hits me! Let's get into game mode so we can experience the whole ensemble. Oops, sorry. Okay. Game mode. And now, as you can see, I'm level 2. And I don't have any hunger bars. Now I have blood bars. Now let's right click again. Do we have enough blood in there? Nope. Let's... Sh see, we need a lot of villagers. And this mod, you could uh, config the villages to spawn more. So it's not going to be a shortage of villagers. So here we go. Lightning hits me again. I'm third level now. Unbelievable, pros. We could, we could use this. We could use this altar right here of inspiration until fourth level. And I'm going to show you that we're going to need a little bit more stronger altars after this. Okay. There we go. Oh. oh, it's full. It's full. One more. Here we go. Come on, bring me darkness. Oh, I'm fourth level now. Look at my hearts. I'm a little stronger now. I'm almost like almost 15 hearts up. Now, after you can't use this no more. Now you need to fifth level. You need to go to this. Something like this. You're going to need to build these things. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? This is how you build these things. And you're going to get four of them. And it's going to be one, two, three. And the tip. We need the tip. What? Who's walking around? Hey! You guys keep it quiet. I'm feeling a little hungry. Okay. So now, you have this thing. And you have these. And they look pretty empty. Now, the first stage, you can use these stone bricks to fill all these up. Like so. Just like that, pros. Now, if you don't want that one, you can use an iron one. Just like this one. And it's a little higher tier if you want. Now, if you want to get really crazy and you have the gold to spare... And you're going to probably need this in the higher levels. There are these right here, pros. It's going to be crazy here. So now, you got all this stuff built. And you look in here and you have this. You got human hearts that you kill the vampire hunters and they drop this stuff. And these books you'll find in dungeons and chests throughout the world. So it's not that easy to do this, to level up, pros. And you're going to have to really be... And you have to get some pure blood. I don't think I need it right now, but let's try. Yeah, I need one. So that means I have to kill a baron to do that, pros. So you shift right-click on this. Oh, it has to be nighttime. So let's go run outside. Let's go back into my coffin real quick. Oh, my coffin's way up here. Into the darkness. Oh, oh look at the animation. We're going to go to sleep real quick. And I can't sleep because someone's in the world and someone left. God darn it. Where is this person that's in the, my server? I'm going to have to kick him. I'm going to kick him. Let's kick him real quick. Spikey 2000. Oh, I can't even do that. I can't believe it. It has stopped everything that I'm doing here. I have stopped. Oh, here we go. Let's go back. Let's go back in the coffin. And we'll just... So it's nighttime. Oh, so good to have my coffin. 
you know, make it night. So I guess you only could do these rituals at night. And you're going to need this altar of infusion as I say. Okay, you shift right click and you see these particles happening. Craziness. And it's sucking the blood and the power out of all this. Oh, oh, in my chest. It's going. Oh, my God, pros. Oh, I can feel it. And your screen gets all red like this. And boom. Oh, I can see brightness. Everything looks so much clearer now. Oh, wow. This is so fantastic. I feel so powerful now. Well, let's, let's move on to the gold one. And we're going to grab one more book here. And we're going to put it in here. Oh, we still got it. That's good. And we're going to grab a potion. And let's level up again. Shift right click. Oh, uh, remember, you're going to need to go get the books and the hearts. I'm making it look easy, but it's not that easy. Oh, give me the power of darkness. Uh, uh, ah! oh, that feels so good. Oh, you guys, I can smell your blood from here, pros. I can smell the blood. This is getting pretty good. I'm already six level. We're gonna put one more book in here. Um, I don't know, how, how high should I go? Now, in the book, you can see in here, okay, let's see, vampires, leveling. We're gonna go up to the level thing here. You can go up to 14. Right now, I'm at six, so it's gonna, it's gonna get crazy, pros. All right, all right. One more time, just to make it final. I think eight will be good. I think eight will be able to show off all, most of the powers. One more time, one more. It's just gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, I need to go hunting for vampire hunters. There we go. Get some. And your screen turned right again. It's getting all red. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now. Let's. We're going to go into our skills by pressing P. And I'm going to get some night vision. Oh. Look at that. Now I can see pretty good. And also. There is a vampire biome. That's where I'm in right now, pros. And now this this thing will spawn throughout the world um, randomly. Very, very uh, rare, but I got lucky on this little seed because I spawned right on the th other side of this mountain and it was right there. I can't believe it. So now, let's go back to our skills. This one give me regeneration. <gasps> That's my third level. All right. Ooh. I can become a bat now. Let's become a bat. Mm, I'm a bat. Oh my god. And I can fly. No, I can't. Now, I'm... In oh yeah, I can fly. Oh yes. I can fly. Oh. Man, this is so cool. This is so cool. Now, I could, be I could get friends. I could get some sunscreen so I can walk in the sun. I could go, I could get Vampire Rage. So let's get some friends so we can hang out with them. And they'll confuse everybody. Everybody will be chasing them while I just fly away to safety. Just in case I'm in trouble, just hide. and just While everybody's running around, I'll be out of here. Just in case you're in trouble. All right. Let's look up more here. Now we could reduce sun damage or reduce garlic damage. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What else could we do? Uh, vampire uh, disguise. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's get that and let's try to just disguise and invisibility. <gasps> I gotta go up one more level. Let's go up one more level. <sighs> what do you need? Invisibility, does it, ha does it really work? Do you really go invisible? Shift right click. Get in my body. Oh, I gotta be human. 
Let's let's try to be human again. All right. Did I do it? All right. Oh yes. Give me knife level. I need to be invisible. It's pretty OP powers. Well, vampires are OP, so I don't I don't consider that OP if you're a vampire. All right. So let's check it out, press. Now, look at my face. Red eyes. I look like a vampire, right? Blood in my mouth. Now, let's disguise myself. <gasps> I look like normal digging. I could just walk around with no one knowing. <gasps> That's so great. Let's see. Oh, it only lasts for a little bit. Or I could become invisible. Phew! I'm out. This is so cool. This is so freaking fantastic, bros. And I could just walk around and no one knowing? Does it have a... No, I could be invisible forever. That is so cool. No cooldown on the visibility. The disguise does go away. And regeneration. How much does it give me? Ah, 20 seconds. Not bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the mod spotlight. And Spikey's next to it. So you can explain the vampire hunter. It's pretty cool that you can use your coffin to sleep during the day. And I don't think it will be good for a server, but it's cool for a single player, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to hit that like button if you did. And wait for Spikey. He's going to explain how the vampire hunter is. Later, pros. Hey, what's going on, pros? Welcome to the land. Well, to my uh, quaint little village here. And uh, what I noticed is... Seems to be some kind of new fashion sense going around. No, but really, pros. Welcome to becoming a vampire hunter. You're probably wondering, vampire hunter? The hell are you talking about, Spikey? I don't see no vampires. Just see a bunch of like pilgrim-looking guys. No, pros. These guys are equipped and ready to fight the undead. And uh, these are just the two. You know, we have. The named Vampire Hunter's Everknife, Dreaded Mystodon. Uh, I've got some more Everknife. It looks like it just does two, those two. And then there's these regular ones. And these guys will protect the village from the blood-sucking fiends of vampires. And I've been wondering, you know, I've been walking around the village and I'm like, where, where are all these guys coming from? And who we'll gave them all the idea? But if you run into a village... You might find that there's a there's a village house that has a garlic farm in the back, just a little one, just like this. And in the front, there seems to be some kind of framed teeth. And pros, this is who's training all these guys, the vampire hunter trainer. And he's my friend, you know. This is a little this little shack that he has going on here, and he's found in most villages. But um. Yeah, pros. If you want to become one of his people, you know, one of the one of the few, the proud, the vampire hunters, this is how you do it, pros. What you want to do is get yourself a syringe, just like that, and some garlic from his backyard, and then you put it all together, just like this, pros, to make a garlic injection. And in his little house, you're gonna find this little chair, this red recliner you know maybe you want to watch some TV on it no it is a surgery chair pros you want to right click your garlic injection on it and there you go you are now a vampire hunter and if you say hey in the chat you can see that your text is blue now while vampires are gonna be pink or you know a purple color and this means you know that you can open up your skill slot now and th you can only see this if you're a vampire hunter or a vampire, you know, I already have becoming a hunter unlocked. And I, I made myself a syringe, stabbed myself with it. And now I'm ready to serve under him. So what you're going to want to do to start climbing these levels, because vampire hunters, I'll tell you what, they have a lot of cool abilities to help them fight these dastardly demons. All right, so you're going to want to get some vampire blood. And how are you going to do that? You're probably wondering, like, Spikey, 
if I go fight some vampires, I'll probably get myself killed. You know, that might be true. But what you're going to want to do is just kill some vampires, get yourself some vampire blood. You know, one bottle. You could, If these guys kill them, you could get a bottle from them. So it's not that much of a big deal. All right, I will train you. All you have to do is give him, pay him one vampire blood bottle, you know, and boom. Now you're level two, all right? You have a skill slot. And now you can really start killing these vampires using a stake. And I'll get to all the abilities later. I'll, I'll level up a lot as we go. But I'm not going to sit here and, um, you know, go through all the levels each and every time because there's a lot of stuff I have to cover, pros. So at the end, we'll take a look at all the abilities we can use and such. But it looks like I'm already max level from what these guys could give me. If I go into survival real quick, you can see there's a little blue four. If this thing goes away. If this thing goes away. Or my name, like that. So, that's pretty simple, pros. Pretty simple, straightforward. And first thing you want to do is level up. You know, you want to go through here and... Next comes to our blood potion station, but we're not high enough level to use that yet. It might say that we have enough points, but in reality, we're just going to get ourselves hurt. You know, you, that's the thing. Being a vampire hunter means you must be careful. You know, these, these undead will take, take advantage, they'll take over the world. That's their whole plan. Just selfish monsters. So what we do is we want to grab a couple of these things just like this. You know, grab a couple things like that, and we should... Should have everything. Oh, we need also a book, pros. You're going to want to get yourself some books. And we put this all in our inventory, just like so. And now, inside the same house that the Vampire Hunter Trainer, or you can make it yourself, like a so. Just like that, Vampire Fang. And what you get that rarely from vampires is right here. And what you want to do is put a book, and it'll tell you, missing 10 Vampire Fangs. Some vampire fangs and a vampire book. And these things, you find them in dungeons. And most of the time, they're different, but this one, they're all Vesperilito. And it's written in Latin or some kind of different language that I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to read it. But right here, you got yourself the first level of the Hunter Intel. Well, the fifth level. That's how you level up to level five. And you noticing, I'm right clicking right now, and it's not really leveling me up. What you want to do is go to the hunter trainer, and he's going to ask for five iron ingots and that book, and he'll level you up. Whoa, and a bunch of, like, knowledge things goes around you, and you get some saturation three going. And that's basically the whole ifs, ands, and buts about leveling up as a vampire hunter. So if you want to continue, you got to do the same thing. It's just going to keep on asking for more and more, though. Uh, now you need pure blood purity one. I have Purity 5, you know, my good friend, the Vampire Hunter Trainer, he got them from killing some uh, big uh, barons of vampires. The vampire uh, biome holds these guys. They're big winged demons, and, well, you don't want to mess with those guys. You're going to have to bring a clan of the, you know, the big guys, big vampire hunters with you if you're going to want to kill them. So you just want to keep on leveling up, and we'll, we'll be able to show off some of the cool stuff of this, uh, this mod and you know book same thing you know the problem is with leveling up is you're gonna wanna stockpile on these books and also the pure blood which is not easy to come by with these really strong monsters mm -hmm. out in the vampire mile and uh... we should have a couple points so we can show off some cool stuff so blood potion table learn how to use the blood potion table to create potions from vampire blood now I'll show you guys that. And also the weapon hunter table, which is also really cool. Alright, so this is, uh, you can make a choice. When you're going down your skill tree, you make choices. You know, you know how, that's how it is in every video game. And it helps out a lot in the long run. And you can also reset your skills if you don't like what you picked in the long run. But um, I want to pick good or bad so I can show off that cool thing right there. And uh, Swift Brewing or Experienced Brewer, uh, kind of silly. So I'm going to get this right here double crossbows we'll be able to show off that in a second and uh... what you're gonna need to use the blood potion table is some garlic pros now that's the good stuff right here some good bad breath smelling garlic right here 
and uh, you start crafting. You can't leave the table because you're making it, you know, you're sloshing your hands around in the blood, uh, mixing the garlic up, smashing it, boiling it. You can hear that. It's like squeaking and oh, it's making all kinds of weird noises. And now you got blood potions. And this is, I guess, a wild card for vampire hunters. You know, in the when you're fighting a vampire, they're going to come at you with a whole kinds of different kinds of abilities that are going to mess you up and you know they turn to fog they they move really fast they drink your blood and you're not going to want you're not going to want to get affected by all these things or you're going to want to have your own edge so if you drink these potions they have a chance as you can see it has one red unknown and two green unknown and right there as you see nausea but it gave me resistance and night vision too which is really cool so if you drink enough of these things <laughs> well not drink enough if you drink them then you have a chance to get uh, some good effects. So if I go into survival here, you see with the health boost for two minutes, I had two extra hearts, which is really good. Problems. It's all around a good thing. But now I'm nauseated for like a whole hour. So that's the cool thing about blood potions. And if you level up enough pros, you can uh, get them on the go. You, can, you don't need your table no more. Or you can just know the effects, get to know some of the effects of a blood potion gives you a chance to know right here if you get these two you have better chance to know what uh, effect you're gonna get but I wanna show off the hunter weapon table right here and it's basically just a big crafting table for all these different kinds of tools that you can make uh, right here a pitchfork you could make it like that in there you know it gives you attack damage and, and all kinds of different stuff but the cool thing is right here pros is the, cr is the crossbows and you're going to want to level up some more if you're going to want to use the advanced ones like enhanced crossbows and technology, learn how to build some advanced weapons. And uh, this is also a really good skill to learn, how to use a st how to actually use a stake, it says. And uh, if you come up from behind a vampire that has 200 health or below, you, know, you kill him instantly, which is awesome for killing those big barons of uh, the vampire world. Going back to the trainer and uh, and getting the level up so you can learn how to make the, the different tools. Like the semi-automatic crossbow is a really cool tool if I show that off right here. But you're gonna, you need to learn the different uh, trees to be able to use these things. So enhanced crossbow. If I go outside now that I have the enhanced semi-crossbow, you need to learn technology to use these enhanced auto ones so, you, know, you, you have to learn these these uh so right here you got the enhanced double crossbow which is easily made right here like this but if you don't have if you don't know how to make it you're not gonna be able to use it even if you cheated in like see that that's vampire's death right there pros and you can also make some cool vampire hunting gear you could get in with the the style of all these vampire hunters, just like this, by putting on some of this cool gear, making it with some black wool and iron, and uh, sp you can't make the special stuff, but you can make the enhanced stuff, like this, if I go right here, to enhanced, but it's really expensive with the diamond, garlic, and iron, and vampire fangs, that's, that's all crazy stuff, but in the long run, it's going to help you protect against the vampires and such. There's also Hunter's Axe that you can use. It gives 10% more against vampires and it has knockback, you know. While the vampires might be more agile and have a lot of, like, spells and they can bite you and all kinds of different stuff, you know, vampire hunters, they have technology that help them kill the vampires. And uh, that's about it with the, the vampire hunters. There's the research table, weapons table, potion table and uh, all the leveling up you have to do which means you have to kill a lot of barons but it, it makes it easier if you get down here to the stake one and uh, that's it and you're gonna wanna find a village the vampire hunter so uh, happy hunting out there you know now, now that I'm part of the crew Mr. Evanife here he's gonna help me out we're gonna go hunting for vampires and uh, I'll catch you guys next time here on Venture Pros Bye.